Hey everyone, well, Floyd back here and with once again. This is going to be a video to Jenny came up before that I this is about a hangout that is going to happen on Friday the 7th of November, that's this Friday coming, at half eight to nine o'clock uh, GMT, that's uh, General Jerry's Mean Time, um, where we're going to try and have, it's probably going to be closer to nine, because I get all pretty late from where I work. So. With that said, uh, so please come join us. It's going to be me, Jay, Turkey Cat, hopefully Epis Guru and Take Greek, Fiona, so that she's involved, a few other people, and it's going to be like a musical conversation about our beliefs and about universalism, hopefully. But with that, let's talk about G.D. Kane's video about what a Christian is. Again, I'm going to try and quantify what I believe a Christian is, what a true Christian is. A true Christian is somebody who has the central belief that the teachings of Jesus are good and are good for uh, are such a part of the ethical or moral framework. However, you want to define that. That is what a Christian is. It doesn't quite anything else. That is what a Christian is. Uh, and the reason I preface it like that is because then that includes the atheistic sects of Christianity, that includes deist Christians, that includes pantheistic Christians, that includes Christians um, who don't really see themselves as Christian, but maybe see themselves as religious. So therefore, you know, it's not a limiting term, it's an inclusive term. So all those different groups who argue with each other are still more Christian, they just need to agree with each other on like a doctoral point. And that is something else. However, that is what a Christian is. You know, it's a simple and I boil down as that. Uh, now there are there are sections where someone may claim somebody is a Christian but they're not. And this is not the true doctor's fallacy. Like for example, the Mormon Church are not a Christian denomination, they're not a Christian thing. And here's why. They're the wrong thing like Islamists. They believe that Joseph Smith, just like Muhammad, uh, was the new prophet on earth and did all these other stuff that again uh, I would say that no Christian really believes. Uh, you know, the Fire Emblem District, again, that's where that came out of. Just like uh, Islam came out of the Arabian understanding, you know, Mormonism came out of the Fire Emblem District's understanding of the New Testament. So, and the Old Testament as well. So I'd say that they're not Christians because they're their own sect, they're our own thing. However, I would also say, if you're somebody who calls himself a Christian but does not have Jesus' teachings as your central ethical and moral sense, you know, involving your moral ethics, you're not a Christian. Uh, and that's and, and that's just something that I can quantify because you do need to have those things to count yourself as a Christian. Otherwise, you're just spiritual. You just uh, maybe you're somebody who likes all religions bring together and think they all have something that I get I do not have a problem with that position whatsoever. Nor am I in the position of defining other people for you. Again, you get to define yourself. However, if you Jesus is not the centre of what you morally and ethically think is right, yeah. then you are not a Christian. However, if you do think that then you are. I mean, a lot of atheists will say, well, I believe those things and I'm not a Christian, blah, blah, blah. You could, well, maybe you're closer to be a Christian than you actually think. That's what I said. But anyway, JDK, I agree with you about g -Man. I do think that you didn't lose that. I think he did produce a lot of claims that are in the dictionary and the Bible and the biblical reading. Now, my intention of what a Christian is, is down to people who call themselves Christians and biblical interpretation of what a Christian is. Because I go, I go one one passage, which is what is uh, one of the famous passages in the Bible, which is where Jesus says, where Jesus asked, you know, what what laws should I hold? He said, behold this month, love the God, love the God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind, and love your neighbour and love that as as they love thyself. That is essential to what it is to be a Christian. Nothing else matters, you know. And God can mean whatever you want it to mean. It can mean nature, it can mean a deity, it can mean whatever you want that to mean. Because people have used the word God interchangeably with nature before. And 
there's no, there's no reason why I can not say to somebody, well, you can be an atheist while holding that. Oh, DCK, if you want to carry please do so. This is from Floyd B. Maxi, Floyd Trees, Knuckle Troop, out.